Hi everyone and welcome back to Scale Studio. Today we'll be working on the periscopes and pioneer tools on the striker. Modern periscopes can pose a bit of a challenge as they're generally polarized, which is very hard to accurately replicate with paints. Today we'll be exploring an interesting technique that I've seen a few times, most notably they were used by Plasmo in his F-18 build on the cockpit displays. After we look at the periscopes, I'll be painting up the pioneer tools, and those turned out rather nicely, so make sure to hang around till then. To accurately replicate the polarizing on the periscopes, we'll be using this holographic nail foil. It can be found pretty cheaply on eBay, and I'll include a link in the description so you guys can use the exact product I'm using in the video. Now, what is this stuff? From what I understand, it's a thin cellophane sheet made out of two sheets. One has a metallic sheen and the other is transparent color, that will reflect the light or let it through depending on the angle. This makes it look almost identical to polarizing finishes and is great for this application. To start, I'm going to base coat the periscope lenses with a dark gray, which I'm pretty sure was unnecessary, but I wanted to make sure that no bronze green would show through the lenses. Once that was done, I used my calipers and a very sharp X-Acto blade to measure and carefully cut out small rectangles of the nail foil. This was super fiddly. Make sure to adjust the shape after cutting them out to ensure that they fit well. It helped for me to take the foil down and cut on that as it kept the film in place. Once I got the lens cut to the right size, I carefully painted the periscope with PVA and then stuck it the foil in place. After that, I used a wide brush to position it and push it down. Make sure that when you are cutting and positioning the lenses not to accidentally dent or bend the foil as it will show in the final result and there's no real way to fix the lens that you meticulously cut. Unfortunately for us, most modern armor has tons of large polarized periscopes and sensor lenses. Make sure to take your time and practice on extra periscopes from your spares box before you try on the kit that you're working on. Also make sure to test the coloring of your foil before you apply it because in my case, the green lenses that I applied actually look like pink when not on the model. So be careful, and know the colors that you have before you commit to applying them on your model. Now these look great. I was super pleased with the results I was able to create, but periscopes are generally glossy, so I carefully brushed on a couple coats of glossy varnish over top of them, and the effect was done. Now let's move on to the tools. To start, I base coated all the tool handles with Vallejo model color old wood. I was using a wet palette, which made the paint fairly thin, so it needed several coats, but it stayed very smooth, which was great. After that, I drew on some thin lines of Iraqi sand and flat earth, and then applied a light filter of flat earth to tone down the contrast and help incorporate the different colors together. I then painted the shovel head as gloss black and the tools in a medium gray. I also painted the shovel handle red as per references. Then, to add some contrast and some simulated wear, I painted on a thin, uneven, light gray layer over all the tool heads. Now 
Now to crack open some oils. I painted over all the tool heads with an extremely thin layer of burnt umber to add some rust tones to the steel and blended in some black oil paints around the tool heads, edges, and around any areas that would be shadowed by straps or brackets. After that was done, I repainted the tool straps in Vallejo American Dark Green to complete the look. And that's all I have for you guys today. Hope you found this tutorial helpful and informative, and maybe even learned something new. As always, thank you very much for watching to the end of the video. If you haven't yet, I'd appreciate it if you liked the video and share it with someone who you think would enjoy it. Also, I've got more great videos on the Striker and other projects coming, and make sure to subscribe if you want to get notified whenever I upload a new video. Also, huge thank you to my Patreon supporters, you guys are awesome and really help me continue producing content like this. If you'd like to join them, check out the link in the on screen now or in the description below. As always, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time.